Hello there guys, this is Alien Butler Blunders and I'm back today for some more figure reviews. Uh, today is a modern animal, it's the Collector 2011 female chimpanzee figure. Um, now I'm going through a bit of a primatology phase at the moment, so I'm reading about primates and primate diversity, so that's the group of animals that includes uh, orangutans and gorillas and chimpanzees, as well as all, all the kinds of monkeys and, and lemurs and all the wonderful animals um, in this in this group related to us. Um, and yeah, so um, I, if you, you can see in the background, two books I've got, they're from the Cousins BBC TV series. Um, now, I'm not too familiar with the TV series, but the books, I can tell you, are excellent. They're, um, very, very detailed, very scientific, lots of diagrams um, about all the all the different groups of primates in the world. Um, and they also produced three slightly smaller books, uh, focusing on, focusing, one was on gorillas, one was on, um, one was on gorillas, one was on chimpanzees, and one was on baboons, so I've only read the gorilla one, but, um, it's quite a nice book anyway, it's quite a small book, quite a thin book, that one's a bit longer, but anyway, from what I've read, they're both quite excellent, well-written books, oh, we've not knocked her off there, but, um, anyway, let's have a look at the figure. Um, I'll just let it focus on the face there. Um, as you can see, the figure has a wonderfully detailed face. I was actually quite surprised at how detailed it was, and it's got very, um, very expressive, detailed eyes. So it's kind of looking around, uh, observing. And, uh, yeah, it's... It's quite a dark matte black body um, with um, um, a, a matte paint as well for the face and the ears and the skin tone. Um, so yeah, the hands and feet are lovely. Um, one of the hands is kind of cupped. The um, other one is kind of in a fist position. Uh, yeah, so there's nice, lovely detail of the fur. Um, and you can see as well, it's got um breasts there they've done detail of and um since it's a female chimpanzee it's got the large area the females have around their uh reproductives their genitals and it's um it's the way that chimpanzees signal to each other so it does look a bit strange there but it's just an it's an accurate part of uh, chimpanzee anatomy that they've restored there so anyway you can't really tell anyway when it's kind of uh, posed um Anyway, yeah, so it's a very nice figure, very reasonably priced. I got it for about £4 with delivery, and um, yeah, so I just recommend it. Pick it up if you can. Um, so it's quite a small figure compared to um, some of my other modern animals. So here it is compared to the Collector Grey Whale. Oh, I thought that was going to fall then. Um, so it is a lot smaller, but it works quite nice alongside it. So my collection, I've got it posed alongside um, both both mammals, so it's the wonderful diversity of mammals, so that's creatures with uh, fur, uh, with, with hair that give birth to live young and uh, produce milk as well for their offspring. Um, so there's whales and there's chimpanzees as well. And this is the Papo um, polar bear figure, which is quite a bit larger. Um, but anyway, you've got a nice image of mammal diversity there. So you've got primates uh, with with the chimpanzee, Pan troglodytes, that's the species. Um, and there's a, the grey whale, which is part of the cetaceans group, which is all the whales and dolphins in the world. Um, and this, so that's the grey whale, that's Escrictus robustus, I think it's called. Um, and for the uh, carnivorans, so that's the, all the predatory animals with claws, um, I've got the polar bear, which is the, which is the papo figure. Um, and there's Ursus Maritimus, which is the polar bear. And yeah, so there's a, I'm trying to build up my modern animal collection. So it was just a very nice addition to have primates, especially since I think they're wonderful and I've not really read about them before and I'm just dedicating some time to them. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'd recommend the collector chimpanzee figure. I'd probably give it about a eight out of 10. It's a, it's a very, very well done, very accurate little figure. 
The only issue would be that it's not too dynamic. So it's got quite a mundane pose or just kind of observing with its head. Um, not displaying, not, not being too dynamic. I know Safari's got some chimpanzee figures which are striding and they're carrying offspring, which is uh, babies, which is a bit nicer. But um, anyway, yeah, so uh, there we go. Thank you for watching my video today. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So thank you again.